Please don't hate me. You'll never do that to me again. To be honest, there are some major changes between the Fifty Shades of Grey books and the movies that could totally set up a Fifty Shades 4. Plus, there's a whole story that leaves the door wide open for a sequel from Christian Grey's point of view. So let's dive into what we know about Fifty Shades 4. So let's kick things off with Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey as told by Christian, which is often just called Grey. This novel, released in 2015, is essentially a retelling of the original Fifty Shades of Grey from Christian Grey's point of view. It gives fans a fresh perspective on the story, diving into Christian's inner thoughts and feelings. But here's where it gets exciting for potential sequels. Grey is actually the first book in a trilogy that reimagines the entire Fifty Shades story through Christian's eyes. The second book in this trilogy is Darker, released in 2017. It follows the same pattern, offering a look at the events of Fifty Shades Darker from Christian's perspective. And the third and final book in this series is Freed, which came out in 2021. This one wraps up the trilogy with Christian's take on the events of Fifty Shades Freed. So, what does this mean for a potential fourth movie? Well, these three novels together provide a whole new layer to the Fifty Shades saga. While the original trilogy of movies followed Anastasia Steele's point of view, these books give a deep dive into Christian's thoughts and motivations, adding a new dimension to the story. Imagine a fourth movie that could blend elements from all three of these books. It would not only retell the original from Christian's perspective, but also expand on the themes and characters in a way that's fresh for audiences. There's a lot of untapped material here that could be explored in a new film. Plus, considering that Fifty Shades Freed ended with some unresolved threads and a hint at what's to come in Christian's life, a fourth movie could seamlessly pick up where the trilogy left off. It could explore Christian's growth and his relationship with Anastasia in a new light, based on his personal experiences and reflections. For a potential fourth movie, the plot could continue by delving into the aftermath of the dramatic events in Fifty Shades Freed, and exploring new challenges and developments in Anna and Christian's lives. Here's a possible direction. The fourth movie could pick up with Anna and Christian adjusting to their new roles as parents of their baby, Theodore Raymond Gray, affectionately known as Teddy. The film could explore the challenges and joys of parenthood, showcasing how the relationship evolves as they navigate the complexities of raising a child. Their bond could be tested as they deal with the demands of parenthood while trying to maintain their personal and professional lives. Anna, now fully immersed in her role as a mother, might also face new challenges at work, especially with the transition of Seattle Independent Publishing to Grey Publishing. She could be portrayed juggling her responsibilities as a new mother with her professional ambitions. This could include conflicts with new staff, unexpected business challenges, or even rivalries in the publishing world that test her mettle. Christian, on the other hand, could be dealing with his own issues related to being a father. He might struggle with his deep-seated fears and insecurities about parenthood, especially given his troubled past. The film could delve into Christian's ongoing journey of self-improvement, showing how he works through his fears and strives to be the best father he can be. The plot could also introduce new conflicts. For instance, there might be a new antagonist or challenge that threatens the Grey family's happiness. Perhaps a former business rival or a personal vendetta resurfaces, creating tension and putting their relationship and family life to the test. This could involve a new mystery or threat that requires Anna and Christian to work together to resolve. Additionally, the film could explore the development of their relationships with their friends and family. Elliot and Kate, now married with a daughter, could play a significant role in the story, offering support and adding to the family dynamics. Their interactions could provide both comedic relief and emotional depth, highlighting the importance of their support system. As Anna and Christian navigate these new challenges, their relationship could be tested but also strengthened. The movie could culminate in a heartfelt moment where Anna and Christian reaffirm their commitment to each other and their family, celebrating Teddy's second birthday with their loved ones. The story would end on a positive note, reflecting the growth and resilience of their relationship, 
as they continued to build their life together. This continuation would keep the focus on character development and emotional depth, while introducing fresh conflicts and storylines to maintain audience engagement. Even if a fourth movie doesn't directly adapt the remaining novels from the Told by Christian trilogy, there are still plenty of exciting directions it could take, and it could definitely build on the differences between the books and the movies to engage fans further. One intriguing aspect to explore in a fourth movie is how it could address some of the book-to-film changes that fans found noteworthy. For instance, one of the most talked about differences is the omission of Anna's inner goddess from the films. In the books, Anna's inner goddess represents her uninhibited impulses but often feels like a repetitive and somewhat annoying element due to its lack of depth. The movies wisely chose to cut this out, opting instead to showcase Anna's emotions and desires through Dakota Johnson's nuanced performance. A fourth movie could further develop this by continuing to focus on subtle, character-driven portrayals rather than overt, sometimes awkward explanations of inner thoughts. Another notable adaptation choice was how the films handled the BDSM contract. In the books, the contract is portrayed as a detailed and comprehensive Total Power Exchange, or TPE, BDSM agreement, which includes extensive control over aspects of Anna's life beyond the bedroom. This type of contract can be controversial due to its potential for abuse, which is something that isn't as thoroughly explored in the movies. The film version simplified this contract, making it more of a general BDSM agreement and reducing the amount of legal jargon and detail. This change could be further explored in a fourth movie by addressing the complexities and ethical considerations of BDSM in a more nuanced way while still keeping it accessible and engaging for the audience. The most perplexing of all changes in the Fifty Shades movies is the omission of Christian going to therapy. In the books, Christian's therapist Dr. Flynn plays a significant role and is mentioned multiple times. Christian often refers to his therapy sessions when discussing his difficult conversations with Anna, noting that he only talks about certain issues with Dr. Flynn and Mrs. Robinson. It's a shame this aspect was left out because it could have added depth to Christian's character and highlighted an important theme. Men are often expected to tough it out rather than seek help, and the films missed an opportunity to portray a powerful man willing to confront his trauma and prioritize his mental health. A fourth movie has the potential to delve deeper into the evolving dynamics between Anna and Christian, highlighting the adjustments made from the books to the screen and address both the emotional and ethical aspects of their relationship. By incorporating elements like therapy and a more nuanced look at BDSM, the film could offer fans a fresh and meaningful continuation of the story they've grown to love. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below. What aspects of the Fifty Shades series would you like to see explored in a potential fourth movie? How do you think the changes from the books to the films have impacted the story? Let us know your thoughts.